Mm, dang it. So Daniel was the one who got his hands on the Mate X. I didn't because I'm here and he's in Barcelona. Daniel's our editor and videographer here. He's extraordinary and he does fantastic stuff, but I'm kind of pissed that he got the chance to see it before I did. Anyway, here are his thoughts. So I got to touch it and it's expensive. Dude, seriously, that's it? So I did get to touch the Matrix for about 20 seconds. It wasn't much, but I did touch the screen. It was smooth. At a slight angle, you can kind of see a slight crease in the middle of the screen. Now my main concern was if I were able to feel it. And when I put my finger across the screen, I didn't. So even, if, even though if they were a bump, I didn't feel it. I did hold it in tablet mode for really quickly and just to feel the weight of it, honestly, it was lighter than I thought. On the back, it felt like brushed aluminum and the first thing I thought of was Apple laptops. So if we know how they feel, then it's pretty close to that. In phone mode, you can use both sides. So it will turn off whichever one that you're not using. So if you flip it around to the smaller side, it will turn on and turn off the back. Now with that side, with the three cameras, there is a selfie mode on the top, so you can easily do quick selfies. And the best thing about taking selfies with this phone is it uses the rear camera only, so the quality is much better. And I think that's one of the better perks about this phone is that it doesn't use a front facing camera, which it doesn't have. And the front facing camera usually performs worse than the back. So when you're taking selfies or recording yourself, it uses the better camera. Now, if you're taking a picture of a friend, the great thing is that they can see themselves with the second screen. So they can do quick adjustments or just get ready for the countdown. And yes, you can take a picture in tablet mode as well. It just looks really weird, but you do get a handle to hold it. So it, it feels really nice and you do get a bigger screen of what you're taking. Now, another neat camera trick that they did was folding it halfway and putting it on a table. So if you really have no one else to take a picture for you, you can just leave it on a table and get it yourself. Now there is a button on the back where you, when you press it, the phone will unfold. Now there is a strong clicking sound when you fold it back together so you would know that it fully folded so the locking mechanism sounded really solid. And the guy was waving it like a fan just to show how solid it is. It's not going to be floppy or flimsy so it won't bend on itself. He did demonstrate going through some sites and just to see how much real estate we get. And at that point I realized that it's really nice to have especially when you're browsing through websites where you can just flip it to tablet mode and you can see so much more and get a lot more information. Now you can do multitasking and use two apps at the same time, like going through your calendar and using notes or using um, maps and messaging your friend where you're going. And it's kind of like Fablets where you can do multitasking and do split screens, but it's just much nicer to see two full apps running side by side. Now this phone is really expensive and I don't think it's for everyone. I think it's someone who really wants to consume media or someone who's really strictly into productivity. So I don't think it's worth it for someone who just wants this phone to browse Facebook or um, just do Instagram and Snapchat. So it makes no sense. But hey, if you got money, then go for it. Now what worries me the most is the outer external screen. And since the screen is plastic and not glass, it's gonna scratch easily. Since this is technically all screen, you really have to baby it and it's really expensive. So you wouldn't wanna throw this phone around. And what if you got gunk and dust stuck into their folding mechanism or even spilled orange juice or coffee on it? At that point, it might feel sticky or it won't feel the same, but we won't know about these things until the future. Yeah. So that was my first thought on the Mate X. It's really convenient to have when you're browsing media or browsing websites and doing productivity stuff, but you gotta pay a pretty penny for it. Thank you very much, Daniel. Uh, it looks like the Mate X is going to be a very interesting device. We know the price is 2,600 roughly. Um, while we hasn't given a specific date, looking at summer, maybe June for the launch of this device. Um, and it seems like it has some really interesting functionality. We just have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully we can get our hands on it sooner, get some more in-depth look at it as well. And also, once it comes out, we will be ha we'll have an unboxing here on the channel. We'll do some more stuff with it anyway. So if you have any questions or any comments uh, about the Mate X, you also wanna check out some more of our coverage from MWC 2019 here on the channel. And if you're joining us for the first time, you haven't subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.